Hello everyone, my name is Tiago and I'll be your presenter today. Here I'm, gonna, I'm going to present our work called Unusual, Unexpectedness Unified Analysis. Our tool allows us to survey assessments regarding unexpectedness for distinct recommendation systems by evaluating, characterizing, and combining different metrics. Our motivation to create this tool is based on the fact that there are no consensus about how to measure unexpectedness during recommendation. There are several works in the literature that proposes metrics to evaluate unexpectedness. However, these metrics are distinct and they are not even compared against each other. Then, we thought our tool would be necessary. Our tool is consisted on four tabs, three modules, an input and output module. In the input-output configuration, we are able to select the recommendation list files and some other information that the unexpectedness metrics require such as user consumption history file, uh, item feature file, and output folder. In the evaluation module, we are able to select the unexpectedness metrics we want to execute on the recommendation list. We can see that there are five implemented metrics in our systems, and there is a description of the work we retrieve them from. In the characterization tab, we evaluate the result of the matrix execution in order to understand how each matrix evaluates the unexpectedness dimension. After calculating the matrix, the tool will execute the characterization analysis. We can see that there are three main analyses to perform, the statistical summarization, the sensitivity analysis, and the similarity analysis. The tool lets us to choose the parameters of the execution. Lastly, in the combination of the matrix, uh, the two focus on combining the implemented metrics through distinct strategies. This module uses matrix factorization techniques to combine the unexpectedness metrics into a unified metric using PCA, SVT, and KPCA. Since we have presented the two, let's run a demonstration. Let's come back to the first step. And here we are going to use as an example the MovieLens 100K dataset, and we have previously predicted recommendations for it. So let's first select our consumption history file, which is here, and let's select our items feature file, which is also provided by GroupLens. Let's select the output folder, it can be right here. And then let's select our recommendation list. Here we have predicted uh, recommendations for the MovieLens uh, dataset using the key, uh, user key in an uh, algorithm. So here we can change the name of the predictions. Then let's select our primitive prediction method. The primitive prediction method consists on uh, recommendations predicted by a recommender that only outputs expected items. So here we used a non-personalized uh, PPM. Okay, uh, since we have selected everything in our input-output configuration, let's select our uh, metrics. So here we're gonna select metric one, two, three, four, and five. All right, so then let's select the characterization of the metrics. Um, let's uh, put the statistical summarization, mean, median, and rank curve. Here we're gonna select the statistical analysis. I'm using a bean size of 0 0.1. And let's include the candle similarity analysis. In the combination module, let's select the SVD, PCA, and then the KPCA. Let's use the polydot kernel function. All right. Since everything is already set, let's run the demonstration. When clicking run, uh, it will uh, execute everything. Here in the bottom, you can see the results and uh, status, uh, how the execution is, is being uh, occurred. And the whole interface is freeze so that the user cannot do anything. So uh, the time that the execution uh, takes depends on the size of the data set and the size of the recommendation uh, generated. So for this one, the, the MovieLens data set, uh, the 100K, the smallest one, it can take from five to six minutes to execute. 
Since we don't have that time here in the video, I will skip to when it finishes. All right, so it has just finished. And then we can see that it already uh, loads the output uh, directory. So here in the output folder, we can see that there are two nested uh, folders. The first one is the matrix one. So here in the matrix one, we, can, uh, we have the output of the matrix, matrix one, two, five, and the combination matrix performed by PCA, SVD, and KPCA. We also have the normalized version of the same matrix. Uh, and then in the other folder, we have the results of the characterization and then and the combination. Uh, here we have the statistical summarization one, where we show the mean, the median, the mean, the median. Here in the ranked matrix, we have an interesting fact where metric one and two uh, really uh, look like each other, while the other matrix are completely different. So it seems that they are uncorrelated or they are measuring different uh, characteristics of unexpectedness. We also have the standard deviation. So here in the statistical analysis, we have the history size, the popularity, and the user bias analysis. So here we have the history size, the popularity. Uh, all of them are divided by uh, the metrics patient use and the user bias itself. Here we show the uh, similarity analysis of uh, each metric pairwise, so metric one and metric two. We have the result of the correlation performed by Kendall Tall, which is 0 0.98. So metric one and metric two are really correlated with, again, uh, with each other. However, metric three and five, for example, even have a negative correlation. And then in the combination, uh, we have the, the variance of each first uh, principal component, for example, in the PCA. Here we can see that the proportion of variance is almost 90%. So uh, it, one principal component really represents the combination of the matrix. We have the same information for the KPCA, which is uh, 0 0.91. And the similar information for SVD, which is uh, 0 0.98. So this was our tool. Thank you for watching, and we hope we can help researchers in evaluating unexpectedness in their recommender systems.